CTA Boston. Carmen's gang is bankrolled by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and viewers like you. This program is brought to you by the Hotel for Family Fun. All over the world. Holiday Inn. And... This program is brought to you by... Toyota. Today's episode, Big Bad Log Bags Big Egg. <laughs> Gumshoes, Carmen San Diego and her ragtag rabble rousers have ransacked again. This time they attacked Tokyo, Japan. Tokyo Dome Stadium is located near Tokyo's Kurakuen Amusement Park. Japan's first covered stadium, it was completed in 1988. Known as the Big Egg, the stadium hosts baseball games between teams like the Yamaguri Giants and the Nippon Ham Fighters. It also presents other big events, like rock concerts and boxing matches. Or it did, until yesterday, when Eartha Brute took Tokyo by surprise and swiped the stadium. They'll be weeping in their wasabi all over Tokyo until their beloved egg is returned. Come shoes, your mission is to bag the Brute, return the stadium, and get Carmen San Diego. They've ripped off the goods. Now chase down those hoods. Carmen San Diego. And one of these people could find her. Camille O'Brien. Michelle Watson. Jude Kim. And this man is special agent in charge of training new recruits, Greg Lee. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Hi, guys. How are you? Fine. Very good. Nice to have you on the case. We're going to start off now with 50 Acme Crime Bucks. Anytime you answer a question correctly, we'll give you 10 more Crime Bucks. And the two of you with the highest score at the end of this round will then proceed to the next round. And as always, all of our answers have been verified by National Geographic World. National Geographic World. Thank you. Chief, let's go. Greg. Eartha Brute has stolen the Tokyo Dome, and there's no time to lose. Now, here's the profile on Eartha. Eartha Brute. Eartha Brute. She has overdeveloped biceps and an underdeveloped brain. Oh, I was just brushing up on my Taekwondo. Eartha's headed for the country where this martial art originated. Taekwondo translates as art of hand and foot fighting with emphasis on foot. The martial art goes back over 2,000 years. Now, Eartha may be at the World Taekwondo Federation headquarters in the capital city trying to sell the stadium, but they already have one. It was used during the 1988 Olympics. Now, mm, mm, mm. Yeah! Can't be too careful in this line of work. Right, you are, Chief. Thanks very much. Okay, guys, name the Asian capital city, if you will, please. Is it Ho Chi Minh City, Shanghai, or Seoul? Remember the clues that we heard? Taekwondo, art of hand and foot fighting, World Taekwondo Federation. Looks like everybody's ready. Camille, we'll start with you. What do you say? I said Seoul. Seoul, what do you think, Michelle? I chose Seoul. Seoul, Jew. Well, Greg, I chose Seoul. Seoul. Everybody said Seoul. Everybody's right. Nice job, guys. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's going to give us some time now to meet you guys. Camille, tell me about yourself. Well, I'm 12 years old, and I like to dance ballet and modern jazz. And I've been in several recitals. Very good. Nice to have you in the case. Michelle, how about you? Well, I'm 13 years old, and I like to read in my spare time, and I also like to sing. Very good. Do you? Well, I play the trumpet. I like to sing a little, yeah, and I like to bug people, and I'm from Korea. <laughs> Very good. Please welcome them all to the show, if you would please, ladies and gentlemen. Listen, you guys started off really good. Camille, you have 60 crime bucks. Michelle, 60. Jew, 60. That's the way to start this thing off. Now, for our next clue, we turn to Bo Diddley, an informant from Acme Bo Knows Net. Watch. Hey, Gumshoe. I trail Eartha Brute to Wisconsin. She's in the smallest city in the U.S. with a major pro sports team. She's doing damage. She cruised throughout Packer Stadium and took out three of their toughest linebackers. 
I know where she is. Do you? We'll find out. Thanks, Bo. Okay, guys, name the city, if you will, please. Is it Pontiac, Green Bay, or Milwaukee? Remember the clues that we heard? Smallest city in U.S. with major pro sports team and Packer Stadium. Michelle's already ready, so is Ju, and uh, so is Camille. We'll start with you, Camille. What do you say? I said Milwaukee. Milwaukee, Michelle? I chose Green Bay. Green Bay, Ju? I also chose Green Bay. Green Bay, the answer we're looking for is Green Bay. Nice job, Michelle and Ju. <laughs> Okay, so the chameleon stays at 60. Michelle and you move up to 70 crime bucks. Now, we've just received word that uh, Eartha has left Green Bay and went to Brazil. So, okay, you guys know what that means. It's time for the lightning round. So that means all of these questions are about Eartha's most recent known whereabouts, which is Brazil. Each correct answers with five crime bucks. Hands on your buzzers. Watch, uh, listen closely. Here we go. Brazil has a thriving television industry, and programs called novelas are very popular. Are they soap operas, cop shows, or educational programs? Michelle. Soap operas. Is right. Nice job. Five for you. <laughs> Looks like you know that one. Question number two. South America's largest city is in Brazil. Is that city Rio de Janeiro, Brasilia, or Sao Paulo? Michelle. Brasilia. Sorry, it's not Brasilia. Jew. Rio de Janeiro. Sorry, it's not that one either. Camille. Paulo. Is right. Nice job. Bye for you. Nice strategy. Mm -hmm. Question number three. One of Brazil's geographical features has been in the news a lot lately. Is it the world's largest desert, the world's deepest lake, or the world's largest tropical rainforest? Camille. The world's largest tropical rainforest? Is right. Nice job. Bye for you. Oh, yeah. That means at the end of that round, Camille, you have 70, Michelle 75, and Jew 70 crime bucks. Nice job, guys. That's the way to do it. Now, for our Greg, next... my office. Now. Sure, Chief. It's funny, there's a lot of snow on that monitor. I better go find out about that. What's going on in here? It's snowing. I know it's snowing <gasps> in here. A freak <laughs> storm has settled in on my office. Chief, this is amazing. This is great. Yes. Greg, I want you to do something huh? for yes, me. Yes, yes. Um, Oh, you know what it is? I, yes, of course. I'll go get my mittens. I'll bring coming back no. here. We'll make a little snowman. I got to care at my office. Hold no, no, Greg. Wait a Greg. minute. Better, Chief. I'll get a toboggan. We'll use this desk. I'll get a little snow ramp thing. Greg. Better, better, better idea, Chief. We'll go out to the interstate. We'll make one of those snow barricades with just a little hole, and the cars will come through, and we'll charge them tolls. No, I have not. Greg. Greg. There will be no snowmen. There will be no tobogganing. There will be no snow tolls. Now, I want you to go out and tell the gumshoes that the one that captures Carmen San Diego today will win a free trip anywhere in North America. You got that? Yeah, Chief, well, we could do that. We always do that. But it's a shame to let all this nifty snow go to waste. <laughs> Chief, you want to make snow angels? No. Greg, go away. Right, Chief. And don't slam the door. You know, it's really strange. I wonder why it's snowing in there, and yet in this office it's perfectly normal. Ah, Mr. Sunshine is here. Okay, guys. Sorry about that. Uh, uh, we're still looking for Eartha and the uh, stadium. Fortunately for us, though, Acme Bugnet has just received this phone conversation between Eartha and Carmen San Diego. Watch. Acme's on to you, Eartha. Head for northwestern South America and stop in the avenue of the volcanoes. You can hide the dome in the crater of Cotopaxi. It's one of the highest active volcanoes in the world. Great! I haven't been lava diving in ages. The volcano is near the capital city of Quito, which is just off the equator. Ooh, nice and warm. I'll wear my polka dot bikini. Just don't get caught or you'll be wearing stripes. Mm, okay, Gumshoes, name the country, if you will, please. Is it Chile, Bolivia, or Ecuador? Remember the clues that we heard? Northwestern South America, Avenue of the Volcanoes, capital city of Quito, just off the equator. Everybody's ready? Camille, we'll start with you. What do you think? I said Ecuador. Ecuador. What do you think, Michelle? I said Ecuador, too. Ecuador. Jew, what do you say? I also said Ecuador. Everybody said Ecuador. Everybody's right again. You guys. Yeah. Okay, so that means, Camille, you have 80, Michelle, 85, Jew, 80 crime bucks. This is a very close, tight game. That's the way to do it. You... My upstairs neighbor, Mrs. Pumpkin Clanger. Better go check this out. Miss Pee, we disturbing you? Huh? You most certainly were. Eartha is visiting the Fong people in a small West African nation on the equator. It has two provinces, Biogo Island and Rio Mune. She's probably watching them do the Ibanga, a dance where they cover themselves in white powder.
shoulder and move oh so beautifully. <laughs> it gives me goosebumps to think of it. Now, stop distracting me and find her. <laughs> Thank you. Don't you ever wonder what uh, Mr. Pumpkin Clanger's life must be like? Okay, guys, name the uh, African nation, if you will, please. Is it Guinea-Bissau, Morocco, or Equatorial Guinea? Remember the clues that we heard? Fong people, small West African nation on the equator, and two provinces, Bioko Island and Rio Muni. Michelle's ready, so is Jew. Camille is now ready. Camille, what do you say? I said Equatorial Guinea. Equatorial Guinea. Michelle? Equatorial Guinea. Same thing. Jew? Equatorial Guinea. Same thing. You guys are right again. Nice job. <laughs> Okay, so that means Camille, you have 90 crime bucks. Michelle, 95. Jew right up there with 90 crime bucks. That's the way to do it, guys. Now, we have just received word that Eartha has left Equatorial mm -hmm. Guinea. So let's pick up the chase. The chase. <laughs> <laughs> we do the very best for you. Uh, remember, all these are worth five crime bucks. Hands on your buzzers. Watch the monitor. Listen closely. Here we go. Eartha flew a jet to Mount Fuji. Name the country. Michelle. Okay. Japan's right. From Japan, she flew the dome west to the city of Seoul. What country is she in? Camille. South Korea. Is right. Next, she jetted west by northwest to the capital of China. Name it. Camille. Beijing. Is right. From Beijing, she hauled her heavy load northwest to Mongolia. What desert did she cross? Michelle. Gobi. Gobi's right. Then she strolled south from Mongolia to Tibet. What mountain range did she cross? Jew. Himalayas. Is right. Nice job, guys. At the end of the chase round, Camille has 100. Michelle, 105. Jew, 95. Crime bucks. Nice job, guys. <laughs> Woo! You have reason to smile. That was good. Now, everybody take a deep breath, because now it is time for the final clue of this round, which means you have to decide how much you want to risk. If you're right, we'll add that amount to your score. If you're not right, we'll subtract it from your score. You can risk 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, or 50 Acme Crime Bucks. Take a look right over here, if you will, please. Here's a portion of the world where we think Eartha is headed. Now, if you know a lot about this part of the world, you may want to risk a lot. If you don't know very much about it, though, you may not want to risk quite so much. So, take a look at the map and think about it. Okay, looks like everybody's ready. Now, for our last clue, clue I understand we have some information from a very slippery customer. Watch. Hey, gazumptious ooze. I may be a snake, but over here I'm just a big bookworm. In this island country, they publish more books per person than anywhere else in the world. And most of them are printed in the native language, which hasn't changed much in a thousand years. They've been writing and reading historical sagas since the 12th century. Earth is not impressed, though. She only reads the labels on steroid bottles. Now, Gazette is on Vizicasa and Kazacher. Uh, okay, guys, name the location, if you will, please. Is it Greenland, Iceland, or Svalbard? Remember the uh, clues that we heard? Island country, publish more books per person than anywhere else in the world, and native language hasn't changed much in a thousand years. Once you have those answers, lay them down right there in front of you. Nice job, Camille, Michelle, and you. Have you got an answer yet? He almost does, folks. And now, and yes, and no. Yes, now he's ready. Okay. Uh, Jew, we're going to start with you. You have 95 crime bucks. How much did you risk? Well, I risked 30. 30 crime bucks. What'd you say? It said, so... Svalbard? Svalbard? Sorry, that's not the answer we're looking for. You're going to go down 30 crime bucks, but not to worry. This thing isn't over with yet. Camille, you have 100 crime bucks. How much did you risk? Well, I risked 20 crime bucks. 20 crime bucks puts you uh, to 120, if you're right. What'd you say? I said Iceland. Iceland is right. Nice job, Camille. Michelle, you have 105. How much did you risk? I risked 10 crime. 10 crime bucks. What'd you say? I chose Svalbard. Spal Svalbard is not right. You go down 10, but you're still in second place. That means Camille and Michelle, you're going on to the next round. Congratulations. <laughs> Jew, listen, man, you were a great detective. You did some great stuff for us today. We've assembled a kit that's going to help you in your next case. Chief. It's the official Acme Crime Net Travel Kit, and it includes an atlas for world travelers, an official Carmen watch, a Carmen t-shirt, a subscription to National Geographic World Magazine, and to practice those tricks you learned at Acme Basketball and Optical Illusion Camp, this handy portable globe. Now, this particular trick takes lots of training. 
see if I can do that with my coat. See, watch this. Huh? Huh? It doesn't really go with my tie. You think? Ah, eh, probably not. Never mind. Anyway, you guys, it's time for you now to go to uh, Iceland. What you have to do is uh, find Eartha and the stadium, find them both, and bring them back. But I want you to know, we did not send our agents out into the field unprepared. Chief, how about a briefing? <laughs> the boys down at Acme Photo Recon have put together a few slides on Iceland. Have a look. Iceland. Much of this island nation is covered by glaciers. But the cold isn't that big a problem. The island also has vast underground hot springs. The majority of its homes are heated geothermally. The natural hot water is pumped from underground. No, this isn't heaven. It's a hot spring spa. Even though it's as far north as Nome, Alaska, this outdoor bath is used all year round. Natural steam is also used to heat greenhouses, so flowers grow all year round. Now, Earth is even planning to steam heat the Tokyo Dome. The Icelandic horse, small, sturdy, and rugged, the original land cruiser. Many Icelanders belong to the Evangelical Lutheran Church. Though the Lutheran Church is state-sponsored, freedom for other religions is fully guaranteed. You know... It's a shame Eartha stole the Tokyo Dome and brought it here. But perhaps after you've captured Eartha and sent the Dome home, Icelanders will decide to get a baseball stadium and a team of their own. Perhaps they'll name it the Iceland Gumshoes in your honor. And they'll be power hitters just like you, but never, never steal bases. Gumshoes, Eartha has taken the Tokyo egg to Iceland. Go get them! Hey, right, Steve, come on, guys. Here we are in uh, Iceland. Set us up down here. Take a walk right over that way. Let me show you what we have. Now, here are the possible locations where you will be able to find Eartha, the stadium, and a warrant for Eartha's arrest. Now, the first thing you have to do is find the loot. That's the evidence you need so that you can get the warrant. With the warrant, you can then arrest the crook. Now, connect all three of those things in that order in a single turn, and you get a chance to try to catch Carmen San Diego. Catch Carmen San Diego, and you get that trip to anywhere in North America. Now, one more thing as always. If you happen upon the loot, the warrant, or the crook, you get a free turn, okay? Camille, you're ahead at the end of the last round. You go first. NATO base. NATO base. Oh, nothing there, but we're on our way. Michelle. Sweater store. Sweater store. That's exactly what it is, too. Camille, go ahead. Reykjavik Theater. Reykjavik Theater. Oh, sorry. Michelle. Krafla. Krafla. What sorry? Oh, Japanese. How nice. Thank you. Okay, Michelle, uh, you get the loot, you get a free turn. Go ahead. Geothermal plant. Geothermal plant. Mm, okay, you got the loot, you got Earth. Remember, you have to go in the right order. Loot, warrant, crook. Go ahead, Michelle. Reykjavik Theater. Reykjavik Theater. Mm, okay, good strategy on your part. Nice job. We'll turn these around. Go ahead, Camille. Krafla. Krafla. Gambado. Go ahead, Camille. Science Institute. Science Institute. <laughs> Nothing there. Turn those back around, Michelle. Go ahead. Krafla. Krafla. Go ahead, Michelle. Meisner Lake. Meis uh, Mivatten Lake. Mivatten Lake. Nope, nothing there. Camille, go ahead. Krafla. Krafla. Oh. Police station. <laughs> I'm sorry, what was that, Camille? Police station. Police station. The warrant. Oh, my goodness, you have the loot, you have the warrant. Do you remember where Eartha is? Geothermal plant. Is she still the geothermal plant? Yeah. yeah. Oh, you yeah. won. Yeah. Yeah. Come here, Camille. Nice job. Nice job. Very good. Okay, you got Eartha. Now all you have to do is put her in jail, pull in the chain, and do it. In jail. Mm, yes. Okay. You feel good? Yep. You should feel good. You did a nice job. Now we're going to talk about your next adventure in just a little bit. First off, Michelle, listen, you were a great detective. You uh, tracked Eartha all the way here. We have something very special for you. Chief. A gumshoe's beat is the whole world, and world beat is the music for the 90s. So, we're giving you a collection of world music, CDs by artists from all around the globe. Plus, we have this CD filled with music from Rockapella, including our theme song. And we've all chipped in to buy a portable CD player. Congratulations! Thanks, Chief. We're just discussing uh, decisions for what we have to do, uh, possible places. If she gets the trip, what she's going to do now is write it down. So, there's a piece of paper, there's a pen. Go ahead and do it, Camille. Where do you want to go? Oh, 
Wow. Oh, that's yours. And that is exactly what we decided on, correct? Yep. Very good. Okay, now you have to catch Carmen San Diego, but you know, we don't know where she is. This phone com call here might just tell us. Hello? Greg, Senator Joe Biden here. I just want to let you know that I propose a congressional resolution naming you the best detective of the year. That's great. But some people were more comfortable with best detective of the month and a few preferred best detective of the work week. Then someone even suggested best is an awfully strong word, so we decided to name you the somewhat notable detective of the next 12 minutes. Congratulations, Greg. Thank you, sir. Thanks, thanks very much. Bye. <laughs> Senator. Well, uh, normally we get a call here about Carmen. Maybe this will be her. Hello? Oh, you want her. Very good. It's for you. Arthur Brood calling. All I do here in jail is split rugs. I've never been so happy in all my life. Bring Carmen over to share in the fun. You'll find her in Asia. What'd you say? We'll find Carmen in Asia. Okay, Camille, you and I are going to Asia. Chief, here's a list of places Carmen may have traveled. Saudi Arabia, <laughs> Kuwait, <laughs> Iran, <laughs> Uzbekistan, <laughs> Tajikistan, <laughs> Bhutan, Bangladesh, Myanmar, Cambodia, Malaysia, Philippines, South Korea, Japan. Greg, let's go to the map. Feel good. Okay, Camille, this is what it's all about. You know what this is, right? Yeah. Okay, what you have to do now is track Carmen San Diego through eight different countries, identifying each one with a marker. When you are right, you'll hear the sound. But if you're wrong, you'll hear this sound. Now, this is very important. If you hear that sound two times on one marker, leave the marker where it is, come on back, and we will continue. But if you get eight right in 45 seconds, you will then win that trip. How, was that? How does that sound to you? Good. How does it sound to you guys? All right, come on, Camille. Let's do this thing. Step right over here. Let's get 45 seconds up on the clock. All your buddies are here to cheer you on. Here we go. On your mark, get set, go. Come on to Kuwait. Kuwait. Yes, come on. Tajikistan, Tajikistan, Tajikistan. No, try it again. Try it. No, come on. Cambodia, Cambodia. Do it, do it, do it. Cheer on, guys. Do it. Yeah, come on. South Korea, South Korea, South Korea. Yeah. Saudi Arabia, Saudi Arabia, Saudi Arabia. Oh, yeah. Iran, Iran. Do it. Yes, 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 yes. Philippines, Philippines, Philippines. Go. Go. Yeah. Malaysia, Malaysia, Malaysia. Here we go. Yes. Japan, Japan, Japan. Hurry, this is it. Japan, Japan. She made it. She made it. She made it. You did it, buddy. Congratulations. How do you feel? Good. That's, that's what you said you'd feel, and you do. Okay, you and a pair now are going to be able to see you, okay? You and a pair are going to be able to go to Mexico. Nice job. And since you did that, you are no longer a gumshoe. You are now a sleuth, and will be able to wear the super sleuth Carmen City jacket. You want to try it on? Take that one off. Let's try it. Oh, this will look nice. You are wearing me out. I'm telling you what. Sure, I'll take that one. We'll take that right over there. Well, how do you... So you did it. You did it. There's one more thing I want you to do, though. You know what it is. Let's do it. Do it, Rock of well, she sneaks around the world from Korea to Carolina. She's licking finger filter from Berlin down to Belize. She takes you for a ride on the lone boat to China. Tell me where in the world is Carmen San Diego? Steal their soul in South Korea. Maybe that it comes right on the Red Sea to Greenland. They'll be singing the blues. Well, they never are She goes to Nashville, to Norway, Berlin, to Zimbabwe, Chicago, to Czechoslovakia, and back. Well, she'll rent and practice, stand and practice, stand in Scandinavia, nature, they go. 
have been briefed regarding game rules prior to their appearance. All geographic information was accurate as of the date this program was recorded. Your heart or cold or flat or hilly pieces of ground with water, 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 water all around. The five biggest islands of the world renowned. It's time to rock the mic, boys, and count them all down. You've got to head your bow north to find aisle number five. Oh, Ice yeah. and fjords and glaciers, a real snowy drive. Ooh. A thousand miles long, Nana, don't you be laughing. <laughs> the fifth biggest island in the world called Baffin. Or the east coast of Africa, you'll find number four. It's where the Malagasy people live in lemurs galore. If Mozambique's your stomping ground, you're not very far. From the fourth biggest island, check it, Madagascar. Check it, cruise along the equator, you'll find number three. It's covered by three countries in the South China Sea. Brunei, Indonesia, and Malaysia say, yo, yo. They're on the third largest island, and it's called Borneo. Oh. Indonesia, also part of island number two. The other half is Papua New Guinea to you. It's wide in the middle, but it's in the real skinny. The second biggest island, give it up for New Guinea. Yo, keep the ballistics while I sing number one. It's Denmark's territory, got the midnight sun. If you don't like ice, you're gonna think it's the mean land. It's the world's biggest island. Give it up for Greenland. We're the Nana Posse. You. We lick Nana's hot. You. So Nana, please remind us, what it is that we got? You got the Nana. Nana. <laughs> you got the Nana. Nana. Come on, Nana. This program was bankrolled by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and by viewers like you.